Hello, I'm Greg Jamian, and welcome to Home Health Care Corner. As more people receive their medical services and care at home, there are many questions that pop up that sometimes require quick answers. I have put together a series of short segments with healthcare professionals that will help explain how things work along with answers to common questions found in home-based care. I hope you find the following information helpful. Welcome to Home Health Corner. My name is Erin, and with us today we have Janet Alderman, a nurse with Ameristaff Home Nursing. Welcome, Janet. Hi, Erin. How are you today? Good, good, good. Today we're going to talk about MRSA, which is a bacteria that causes infections in different parts of the body. So, Janet, tell us about MRSA. Well, most people call it MRSA for short because it's too hard to say the, <laughs> the whole thing, which is methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus. So that's why we always say MRSA. And that is a mouthful. Yes, it is. <laughs> So uh, MRSA is just a bacteria that mostly you find on your skin. It's usually everyone has it all over their body and usually it doesn't cause a problem. When it causes a problem is when uh, you get a cut or something that and then that staph gets in there or if you get it passed on from another person or if you've been in the hospital and your immunity system's down or you're weakened so you're more susceptible to it. Are you more susceptible to it in those places, like hospitals, living, you know, senior living centers, places like that? Yeah, because you're used to your own staff that's on your skin. Everyone has it, but when other people, you get contacted with it from other people's um, own, you know, just touching you can spread their staff onto you. And if you have an open cut or a sore, or you've been in the hospital and your immune system's down weaker and you can't fight it off as bad as easily and so then you have the problems with it. And is this a bacteria, is it um, resistant to a lot of antibiotics or is there something you can take to treat it? It is, that's why it's called MRSA, it's resistant to the antibiotics and a lot of times um, what happens is the staph, the germ mutates along the way and because we have over prescribed antibiotics, um, doctors have that's why nowadays a lot of them don't prescribe it because then it becomes immune to those antibiotics and it becomes resistant to those antibiotics. So something that has worked on it before will not work on it now. So then you have to go to the really strong antibiotics like vancomycin to cure it. And then that's hard on your kidneys, your livers, and what they're really worried about with MRSA is it's becoming like this super gene or super bacteria and there's not going to be anything to to any antibiotic to take care of it. So wow, that's scary to it, think about. It is kind of scary but um, the doctors are more aware now um, as you know probably if you take your son or daughter to the pediatrician now they don't prescribe antibiotics like they used to. Um, Back when I had kids and they took their, you know, I took my kids, any little sniffle, they gave them antibiotics, mm -hmm. but that's when it becomes resistance because you've overused antibiotics and it doesn't, doesn't cure what they have going on now. Okay. And what are some of the common symptoms of MRSA? Usually if you have MRSA on the skin, it's like a rash, a pimply rash. It's um, like little pussy blisters is what it looks like and that's how you know you need to go to the doctor especially if it's like a rash that doesn't go away. Now will that be in uh, one common area or all over? Usually it's around like a cut or an open store you'll see the bumps around it and that's how you know you probably have some kind of infection going on. There also is uh, MRSA though that is like it can, you can get it in your lungs <laughs> And um, so if it coughs, if people have it and they're coughing, and they can spread it that way. So um, that's why you just gotta be really careful. And if you have in-home care, um, would caregivers be able to treat this at home or is this something that you should go to the doctor and 
Well, it depends how advanced it is. Um, a lot of times, yeah, they can put you on an antibiotic and um, like vancomycin oral, or sometimes it has to, can be treated in the home with an IV antibiotic. Um, if that's the case, if it's a cut or something like that, then um, it depends how far advanced it is, but it can be treated in the home most definitely. The biggest thing is if you do have an open cut or a sore, always keep it covered. Uh, another very popular place to get MRSA is in the gym, people working out, and, um, and it's on the equipment or um, on the mats that you use, so that's why you should always bring your own mat if you're doing yoga or something like that, or if you're using the equipment in the gym, make sure you wipe it down before and after, and take a shower when you get done. Um, at the gym, get that stuff off you. <laughs> I know, you see a lot of times people aren't spraying it down properly, so I try to do before and after when I do go. <laughs> and make sure that you don't share towels with anyone, like if your kids are um, athletes, you hear of a, a lot of the wrestlers get it from the mats that the, they're playing on, or um, sharing towels between people, or um, different things like that personal clothing, they're sharing it because they're getting somebody else's germs on them. Mm -hmm. And um, so prevention of MRSA, just keeping your wounds covered and clean, your cuts? Anything. Okay. If you have an open sore, you should always keep it covered if you're out in a public place. Um, you don't want to get the germs on you or you don't want to spread anything that you might have to somebody else. Okay. And um, are there any other treatments besides antibiotics? Um, usually the antibiotics is the thing that you're going to eventually have to be on to take care of it, yes. Okay. So. Well, I hope this was helpful in teaching you a little bit about MRSA and if you are diagnosed with it, things you can do. Um, Janet, thank you so much for being thank with you. us. And if you have any questions, feel free to call Ameristaff Home Nursing at 248-288-2270.